is 6 p.m. and I'm calling to order the November 1, good Lord, 2022 meeting of the Rutland Conservation Commission. All of us who are here are present in the room. We are on Zoom being recorded and will be in the future broadcast on Rutland Community Television available on the YouTube channel. Moving on. Uh, share that. This. So let us begin with the minutes of October 18. Actually, oh, for the record, I should say Skip Clark is not present. Everyone else is physically in the room. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Second. Roll call. Any, any comments, changes? Roll call. Belkwell, aye. Langer, aye. Chancellor Lucci, aye. Yes, aye. Crane, abstain. Moving on. So, um, just to let everyone know, I could be pulled out of here to go into the select board meeting, which is one of the reasons this is going to be a short meeting, so I'm available for that. Um, but it will be what it will be. Hi, Tamika! <laughs> you know what? She's on camera. <laughs> uh, moving on to request to an amend an order of conditions for James Susi contracting on Millbrook Road. So I picked up a couple of the documents that are here, which I've already lost. Uh, the, the only one I really opened was this alternatives analysis. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure if that's the right document. So anybody who knows anything about this to... Uh, just look like they're cutting it in half. Yes, he, he, talk, he was talking to some guys in Boston about something else, and he told them about this, and they went, they're going to give you a lot of guff you know, because of the square footage. Yeah. So they looked at it again, and he moved it closer, so basically cutting it in half yeah. for the disturbance. So that's the change. The other approach was better for a driveway, but this is much um, nicer for everything. Yeah. So is there actually, oh, there is a drawing here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just pulled it in. They pulled, they pulled it closer. So it's closer to the wall? Closer to the wall. I got it. So it's about six thousand. Yeah, yeah six thousand versus like eleven thousand yeah. change. That's, yeah, that's it's great. significant. Like how? It's still twelve feet wide and everything else. So it's better for the replication area too. Yeah, a little bit closer to the existing yeah. wet one. Okay. Yeah. Much better sensory. So what do we need to do here? Do we need to amend our orders? Do we need to just accept that it's a change? Do we do is it merely administrative? We can do an administrative change if the commission feels that it's acceptable because it's less weather impact. If we need if we wanted to do an official amendment, it would have to go back in the paper and then the voters know that. Yeah, it's not typically if it's less impact, we don't. Yeah, there's no reason not to do administrative. Right. We just have to make that write a letter stating that this is now the plan of record and the previous commission still hold. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't think we needed to change our orders. No, no, the orders would stay the same. Yeah. yeah, it's just when we go to do the COC, ensuring we have a document that shows that this last revision date is the plan. To mm -hmm. That's us. the one to base on. Yep. Because yep. we don't want to be like, hey, we asked for an 11,000 square foot replication <laughs> area. <laughs> 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 we well, we didn't say we didn't say we were going to cut that down on them. We just said we can move. <laughs> we just said you can move. We just said you can move the driveway. Yeah, because you only have six thousand square feet. Yeah. So you didn't even notice the replication area on this map. It was yeah, it's just a map up there. Well, if you weren't in Florida, you wouldn't have been here and know all about this. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh, where is it? <laughs> see, I don't see it on here. It's on there though. Is that is it? there two sheets? Is that over here? Yeah, it's like right there. Yeah, it's up top. <laughs> it's up there. Where up in here. So it picks up this. No, I'll go look at Okay. That's that's look like it's, I think it's, all each, yeah, they're not clearly oh, delineated. Going down. That's this is it. No, nope. oh no, 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 no. Yeah. there's multiple sheets. There's one up. You still have one. Wait, that's not that's not it. See, start at the beginning. I believe this is the original plan. Based on where this like, truck is I saw looking. an amended plan. It does exist. I'm not, I'm not saying <laughs> mm -hmm. it's a going through page by page. Yeah. This is the original plan. Yeah. So there was a it was labeled proposed site plan. And this the is the new one because that driveway is clearly closer mm -hmm. yep. to this. Now, because I'm blind to the bat, I can't read what these words 
Stream channel. Stream channel. No, this one, born to production, never mind. Yes, and that does say stream channel, I agree. So. It, like, I see it, Jared has it up. This one. Yeah. Yep. It's the full, the full size plan shows the replication, 6,000 square feet, mm -hmm. which is like 110 square feet more than the bill. Right. This is. You know, I think this, Peter, is the alternatives analysis yeah. that they provided. So yes. they, they looked at some other options yeah. and, and they're going with the ship oh, in the so drive. Still on the PDF. Yeah. yeah. That's yes, where that's where I got it. Yeah, they, See, when I looked at the information they gave, it was alternative analysis, the order of conditions, and oh, proposed site plan. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, there it that's is. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so why is this shaded? Uh, oh, great. Well, there's already a wetland there. Yeah. There's already yeah. a wetland over yeah, there. But there was already a wetland there. So my question is why is this portion of the wetland shaded? I. My guess is probably just a cat, cat glitch. <laughs> just a what? Cat, cat, glitch. cat glitch. Oh, cat error. I, I don't, it's not labeled, so I, I don't think it represents anything. Yeah, what removal patient is clearly right here. With mm -hmm. It might be it, it might be the old hatch for the larger replication oh, area, yeah. and it just didn't it get deleted. I don't know. They, this, uh, no, they yeah, probably it moved it over. Shift. Yeah. Yeah, yo, yes. <laughs> they, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it, I think we can ignore it. Yeah. It's an ink blot. What do you see, Peter? How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I see a butterfly. Try to get that checked out. Uh, no, it just means that I'm a serial murderer. That's all. Oh, oh, Is this the confession or taped? <laughs> yes, that's up to you to figure out, isn't it? That was yesterday. So okay, over. so we so we want mm -hmm. a motion to accept an, an administrative change to the plan right that's yeah. all we need yes yeah with the and that site plan to be the new point of record yeah yeah second somebody say so moved. She, she, she say so moved she moved so we'll, moved. we'll say she moved. second and you second other discussion roll call no aye. no anger aye. gentle which aye. dance aye. great eye okay now we have a request for an administrative approval of request on the Long Pond boat ramp. I have not read the email yet. I have not had time to prep. So I'm in the process of permitting the floating dock they were planning to install as part of the Long Pond boat ramp. Mm -hmm. As DEP brought a discrepancy to my attention as part of the floating dock system, a precast concrete anchor block would be placed in the water towards the end of the dock. Mm -hmm. He neglected to show this on the plan submitted with the NOI. Anchor block is dimensions of it will be placed like that oh, with its top even. So it'll be embedded into. I don't even think it's embedded. Well, how else would the top of the block be even with the lake bottom? Dropped it. They have a plan that shows it. Based on that, it it's looks like they just dropped. drop it in yeah. and it just sits on the bottom. It's a concrete. Some more. Yeah. yeah. So, so, well, that's what I expected. Block when they it. say that the top will be even with the lake bottom, that suggests that the top of the block, if the top of the block is even, then it's well, in. I, they may, they're probably saying that, so that, oh, and I they're probably it. doing that, hmm. so that you don't ruin a prop on it. Ah, uh, <laughs> right. Attach the plan I submitted. So yeah. da, 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 is the plan the attached plan here? Has it rest oh, of course top. not. I think the plan is right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the next sheet, yep, it's just resting, float anchor, and it's underwater. Yeah, right. So it's just it's an anchor. It's a mooring. Yeah, it's a piece of concrete with a metal hoop in it. It's a wind doesn't take the and a chain it is. and a chain. I see no issues. No problem. No. Ditto. So, administrative make change. a motion. I move to accept this as administrative change. This is the new plan. Sure. Sure. Second. <laughs> it was an additional plan of record. Uh, roll call. This side. Dan's aye. Jeff Lucci aye. Langer aye. No call aye. Crane aye. That, I said, that goes away. 
Moving on, drainage concerns, 240 Barry Paxton Road. Do we have an email? Again, I'm alive, not read. So my name is Gene Trudeau and I live at there. I am emailing today to try and have a drainage issue resolved next door to me at Freedom Storage. In the lower portion of the driveway, there's a drainage swale that's supposed to drain into a storm drain. Does the swale go directly to the storm drain? And then go under 122 and into the woods. The swale is not doing the job. Anytime there's a heavy rain or snow melt, the water comes out of the swale across 242's driveway and both out into the road and across my driveway. Hmm. Ah. So that's my letter. That's your letter. My email, yes. Ah, excellent. So I can shed some light on that for you if you. Yeah, please do. Oh, yes, please do. Um, I tried sending you some pictures, emailing you some pictures, but. Uh, I'm not sure if you got it or not. I didn't know if you could put it on the screen, but I can show you on the phone. If that's all right. I no, I have I I don't, and Tamika did not get any pictures for this. Okay. So in any case, um, look at that. That's looking up the driveway. Mm -hmm. My house, my driveway is over here. And so this is the drainage swale comes down here and then it dumps in a storm drain and then it goes under the road and it's lower on the other side of the road. So it dumps out into the woods over there. But as you can see the dirt there, you know, this is what it looks like after a rainstorm. Mm -hmm. So the water comes out of the swale, goes down and across their driveway, goes out into the street, and some of it runs down across the end of my driveway. So well, there's a video of one storm uh, the water pouring down the street mm -hmm. across, partially across the end of my driveway. Um, let's see. This one is looking up from the edge of my driveway. So you can see how uh, the dirt is slowly being removed. You know, that used to be up to the top of the curb there, mm. but it's chewing away at it. Um, had situations in the winter where you know you get down to the bottom of the driveway and there's an inch of ice on the last 10 feet of my driveway and an inch of ice all out in the road. Um, Is there anything new there though? I, actually, would you mind showing them the pictures also? Well, I know, um, I, know I know what he's talking about. You do? Okay. Well, right. they just finished the final building. Right. Uh, and I was kind of waiting to bring up a couple of things that I thought some stuff would get taken care of. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know, it doesn't matter to you guys, but things like the blueprint show that they were going to loam and seed areas that were disturbed and they didn't do any of that stuff. But all of a sudden the place was sold the second they finished the last building. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm bringing it up now. Yep, that's fine. I think but, we still have a... So here's a look at the driveway from which yep, point good still up. Yeah. yeah. And you know you can see this yeah. is the swale, yeah. and the swale. I mean, if you want to call it a swale, you know, it's like this deep. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, it's not. It's not really a swale, right? And you know, up here there's you know, a ten inch pipe or something, yep. ten or a twelve inch pipe coming out into the swale. You know, yeah. So, so it comes down, comes across the driveway. Is there an attention pond over here? There is, but uh, there's never anything in it. Or is this an attention pond in that in that front? Yeah. Yes. There's also one in the back. I'm trying to find the retention pond in the back. Yeah. Or the something's wrong with it. It, it seems sure like maybe the bypass or, or something it. comes out in the retention pond. Maybe yeah, something must be up. Um, I know that I believe the roof drainage goes into the rear retention pond. Then there's a there's a manhole or whatever you want to call it that dumps it down out over here i believe okay i don't know that's a fact but i'm pretty I'm pretty certain. so you're saying the retention pond isn't seeing any water it's okay. not i don't i've never seen anything of any significance in it okay okay that means there's something not working well, that should fill up so, and know, then slowly the water. drain out yeah to prevent that's, that that's happens to be one rain spot, right you know that yeah. happened to catch right. it catch it um you know that's my driveway. Right. And it's, yep. You know, it's chewing away. So what? Gravel. When did we do that? Do you remember? Yeah. So we never signed off on that before we sold it. No. There's no certificate of compliance. There's no certificate. There's of no COC. Yeah. Absolutely. No. I mean, but there's no way we would have signed a COC anyway because it was too early. Yeah, I mean, Dave sold it. They they sold that before we even signed off on it. I mean, the building was literally 
like yeah as we are well, just it's finished it up and then the next thing with the order of conditions there should be a lien on the property right yeah not it depends on if it was financed through a bank that's a good point big i mean big company bought if, it if some big company um, bought it and just bought it outright so who do we go back at dave we can't we have to go with the current owner yeah we should ask Dave first, though. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I think that would be prudent, but let him provide us with some information. If he has it, but he's not obligated to. No, he's, he's local. I don't think he's going to walk away from it. No, have you ever talked to, talk to him? No, you know, I was kind of waiting to see right. what happened. Like, when okay. they were finally done, okay. I could say, because this was, you know, I think they put the first building up like a couple of years ago. Four or five yeah. years ago, yeah. It was yeah. quite a long time. And they kept pecking away at it. So I figured, oh, I can finish this building. You know, I'll talk to George mm -hmm. or somebody to right. see if we can, you know. I mean, it, it sounds like they have something not connected, right? I mean, it doesn't, if it's not going in that front one, because that would alleviate probably a lot of that. Yeah. But whatever comes out of that pipe that's up top, mm -hmm. that pipe is not aimed at the retention pond. Right. It's, yeah, it's, it's just dumped into that swill. Right. Okay. Which isn't much of a swill. Right. Okay. Now I know, you know, there may be an issue with the retention pond, but I mean, mm -hmm. the, you know, what's it going to cost to make the swale actually drain to somewhere, you know, at least the storm drain. Right. You know, for my, for my issue, yep. I, I see it as a cheap fix. I'm not sure what the deal is with the retention. Yeah, let us send letters and see what we can get some feedback from. And your other spot to go to is because it is going to be DBW. Also be planning, major site planning. Well, even DBW well. because it's hitting the road. What you should do is copy your original letter to DPW to make them aware of that ice. I think, I think maybe the issue there is it's a state highway in the, in the state that yeah. plowing. DPW wouldn't be plowing road. that. So no, yeah, but they, yeah. So even in that video that I showed you, right, there's a DOT trucks parked there because they're right. Um, right dealing with it or something. But right. I wonder if it would be wise to do the same instead of DPW do it with DOT. Mm. Send them that letter, that letter that you sent here. Yeah. Send that over to them. try it out. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll talk to Dave. We'll talk to Dave and George and see. I would appreciate it. Yeah, and, and, yeah. We'll get the plans at least to see what's supposed to run where. Anybody yeah. remember when this? When we did this? I'm trying to find it. We just repermitted. We just re talked about. Yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking I didn't see anything in the tw in the 2022 apps though. It should. Oh, it was 2022 when so we I gave thought. permission for the building. Because it expired, so we re 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 up the conditions. That was definitely 2022. So, oh, maybe that's it. It was an extension. It was an extension. No, no it or was a no renewal because it expired. It was a whole new I'm right. So, yeah. Whole new yeah. Why? Woodside, Campbell, Pleasant. They're not Pleasantdale. Mm -hmm. No. Very no, they're in Barry Paxton. It's Barry Paxton, Road. and I don't see anything on Barry Paxton Road in 2022. It, just just, just so story. you're aware, Phil, yep. um, they, I was here for a, another meeting um, with the um, zoning board because they're going to put up a sign there. I was concerned what the sign was going to look like. Um, it was, and they have the property down as like 232 yeah. Barry Baxman Road, but it's 242. Um, the That's numbering right. is kind of messed up because... Yeah. Um, it's coming. It, the numbers are going up and down the road. Yeah. But then they built a duplex behind the storage facility. Right. So that's 236, 238. I'm 240, or then you come back to 240. What's the date again? Okay. Okay. Um, no, okay. November 21st. But it looked like the oh, they, have been, they, they, have they have been recorded as 232 or something like that, possibly. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. There was there was some question as to what exactly that's happening. Anyway, just so you know. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Will you shoot me an email or something when you after you hear from yeah. David, yeah. George, or both? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably from um Tamika, our admin, we'll get back to you. If we get anything in between meetings. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank yep. you. So can I ask you, Melissa, to work with Tamika to yeah. Formulate the letter, et cetera, et cetera. It's plan is hard to read. Yeah, it is hard to read. Thanks. Maybe we can get a better one from planning. Yeah. 
So they'd still have to conform with stormwater through Major's site plan too. So yeah, I mean, just spread a video just seems like something wasn't directed in the right yeah, direction. Some, something's not because right. It, be, it should, should be going should in a just be the driveway. Have you got this the plan? Way. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fuzzy version of it. It's really hard to read. Oh. Um, if I had to decipher this, one thing I'm noticing is I think what is the outlet invert is down around elevation 950, and they have an emergency spillway four feet higher than that, which tells me that whatever gets into this basin should not be. Right, should not be rising up and going over their driveway. Right, yeah. right. It's not right. Right, he's always the video is not even getting in the basin. Yeah. yeah, it's coming down the driveway. Yeah, swale, Something and it's up. not. And it's not directed into it. It's yeah. like, I like wonder. Put a put, put a forty five and a piece of pipe on it. Probably take care of the problem. Yeah. Well, I wonder if huh? the pipe was existing, and when they were doing the construction, somebody crushed it. What the water's coming out of it? Yeah, I no, think no, I'm talking about the one going to detention basin. I don't think there is one. I don't think there is one. <laughs> It's, it's going it, to it, the smell. It's up there and comes down. Right. So it's supposed to run along the side of the driveway yeah. into the detention bay, right. but mm -hmm. it's just not making the yep. connection. Okay. Yeah. Or so we think. Yeah. And I, the only reason I say, I say you talk to Dave and George too on it, it guess what? Swale. Our, our order is here, going there. A shallow one. And it says, ensure water from existing swale does not enter basin. Oh, weird. Which is very strange. But what but the then, heck is the point of the basin? Uh, it's so most of the runoff from the project looks like it's going to the basin, but then there's this small swale, and I don't know, maybe the swale that's is just for, just for that driveway, and that's it. Yeah. But it's obviously not doing that. Yeah. Now that water's not yeah. coming off that there's driveway. It's just driveway runoff. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, I'll work with Tamika. Thank uh, you. Uh, bridge project. I, never, I was just going to say, they never submitted a request for a certificate of compliance, right? Okay. Hmm. okay. Hmm. Which they don't have to when they sell it, but they didn't finish that long ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the, the orders were so fresh. Yeah. That I don't, we, we couldn't grant a COC. And like no. you said, they didn't loan and seed the rest of it. So we wouldn't, anyways. We wouldn't, anyways. Yeah. Do we even have proof that the orders were recorded at the Registry of Deeds? I can check. That. We could check that, but that's that a would question. Be... Yeah. Okay. Because some lawyer doing his due diligence should pick that up. I mean, yeah, really. Yeah. Well, big company bought it unless they bought it as yeah. is. But yeah. still, they would have a corporate attorney or something. Yeah, you buy it with cash and eat it. Yeah. It's highly possible. Well, if they bought it, if there was no financing, mm. maybe they said, okay, we have an order of conditions, but that's fine. We'll just close it out when right. we can. And maybe they didn't worry about it. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. We, we thought the banks had squared that stuff away a long time ago. <laughs> That's, right. That's why we were getting them from 1970. Right. And we will continue. <laughs> we will continue. 1844. Yeah. Yeah. One day we'll clear our backlog of orders. Yeah. No, yeah. No yeah. Certificates. No, we're not. <laughs> I could dream. You can. You can. Yeah. We're going to crush those dreams. Wait, this, you know. The small dreams don't cost any more than the big ones. It's true. All right, moving on. Bridge project. The uh, Ian is not. Ian is still in transit, mm -hmm. um, and so assuming that we end the meeting before he shows up, which I'm gonna mm -hmm. place pretty high probability on, then we'll just carry this over to next time, mm -hmm. the next meeting. I can also. Um, we talked about it briefly at the last meeting too. I can also work with Tamika to get him some comments in the meantime. I think the oh, consensus great. was. We didn't necessarily need an updated plan because the conditions are still the same, just making sure that the resource areas are depicted accurately mm -hmm. was the biggest one. Ah, okay. So, because yeah, we didn't have a concern with the yeah. age. No. No. The, the question I think must have been from him was, is the survey he has okay if it's yeah. five years old? And our thought on it was, well, nothing's changed. You haven't done anything. So survey right. should be fine. Just making sure the delineation is still um, yep. up yeah. to date. Okay. So I can I'm happy to great so thank you. Have to hook it on my again. Good, because I didn't open anything for this. Okay. Um number four, bylaws and regulations. Well, I have a I have good news and I have mediocre news. The good news is I now know the structure I want for the bylaw. The mediocre news is I haven't written it down yet because I just town meeting. Um but we will be able to begin working on it more actively next time. 
my question, here's the thing that where it gets really fuzzy in my head. What belongs in bylaw versus what belongs in regulation? Minimum. Bylaw. The minimum really ought to go in the bylaw. Yes. I agree with that. So, I mean, so should the bylaw even cover what we consider jurisdictional distance, or should that yes. just be in regulation? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's, that's our authority. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But the performance standards within those distances and the regulations. Okay. I have found any number of bylaws, and as I've said before, we them all, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I have not found a single set of regulations online anywhere. I'm sure I'm just not looking well. But I haven't found, I, mean, I found lots of things that say CONCOM will promulgate regulations. Yeah. Sure. And I found one that said, yeah, they have a document that you can look at that we're going to bring up soon for approval. But that was two years ago. I can send you mine. That'd be great. Thank you. I'm just looking for examples. Again, I yeah. want to make sure that mm -hmm. everything that we do in the bylaw is compatible with whatever we do for regulations mm -hmm. and that we don't overreach in the bylaw. You know, that's yeah. right. The bylaw should be broader than very usually is, well, right? Yeah. That, that's what I was going to say is like things like if we have a no disturb zone, that usually I see that in a regulation. It might also be mentioned in the bylaw, but a lot of times the bylaws are a little more general, I guess. Right. And, so, and, so if we have the whatever our, mm -hmm. we need to think about how we're going to put in the bylaw, yeah. the mm -hmm. no touch, the no structure, the, mm -hmm. the you're free to do whatever you want, yeah. you know, whatever our permitting, right, mm -hmm. you know, whatever our limits are going to be, we just need to think about how we're going to put that in the bylaw. Okay. And I admit, I haven't thought very much about that, but just getting the structure. Mm -hmm. I think the smooth. best resource, and I think Tanika still has it uploaded in our the bylaw folder is the MACC spreadsheet that they just updated, I think, last year. And it has the links to all the oh, accounts, oh, oh, okay. I both do. the bylaw and the regs. And I think it calls out like the specifics that they have a no touch if they have extra resource areas, like if they include isolated burn holes. All right, I'll take a look at that. If not, then I'm sure she can upload that. Yeah, because I'm I'm it's unclear if our sequence should be right the bylaw. And write the regulations or kind of work on them together, which is a little harder to do. It takes yeah. longer to do the whole work, but mm -hmm. the end result is we're sure that everything's cross compatible. I don't think they wouldn't be, though. Yeah, you'd be <laughs> I think it's a little, I think in our situation, I think it'd be nice to be able to take the time and write them both at least somewhat simultaneously, you know, not having the regulations completely finalized by the time you have the bylaw finalized. But I think to your point, there's a lot of communities that get the bylaw finished and then you struggle with the regulations because that just requires a, a committee vote, you know, versus town meetings. You get the hard part done and then you like pitter patter off. And now, now let me tell you something that I expect to happen because this happened on other committees in this town um, where being an appointed committee, there are those who believe that appointed committees should not by themselves promulgate regulations, that all regulations from that committee should go through the select board for approval because they are an elected body. Now, this board is different because we have lots of law. The permitting board. Yeah. We're, very, we're a very different board for having you appointed. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so I'm just suggesting now there may come a point as we're discussing the bylaw. <laughs> the other reason I would really, I, that I think it's best, I agree with Melissa, we don't have to finalize the regulations, but to work on them simultaneously, is that we're going to get a bylaw ready. And some number of months later, it'll go on a town meeting warrant. Mm -hmm. And four months after that, the <laughs> AG will finish its approval. We want to be ready to go. That's right. We want to be ready mm -hmm. to go. And I don't want to. Yeah. And I'd rather not use an extra four months of time. Yeah. Right. Whatever. So. Right. And especially, I think oh. it, it also goes to show when we do go to town meeting and we're defending this bylaw. Like it, we're ready for it. We prepared for this. These are our reasonings, and a lot of those reasonings you outline in the regulations too. So I think that, you know, and especially with the people who have been in the meetings recently, you know, I think it, it makes sense to have as much information and education as we can when we're ready to present and say, right. we we did the work. You know, we spent a lot of time on this, and this is what it will look like because right. it's almost done. Yeah, and the biggest part is, like we say, the biggest thing we got to go is it gives us control over things, not just talking. 
Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, give some teeth in anything we say. So yeah. and right then, now, people don't realize a lot of us talk. Right. I mean, the enforcement action alone, I think just even be able to find, you know, it, not to say that that's something we necessarily do. Like I've no. never find someone in my life, but like, but you have, you're but, it, but you have the power. You're going to love it. Well, you're getting a ticket book. Now <laughs> where, where life does get interesting when it comes to fines, mm. because fines are part of a bylaw. Mm -hmm. And adding fines to that means a bylaw change, which is not inherently bad. It's just changing the fines is a lot more. Of a regulations. You have to, I think, in a bylaw, you have to say that you have, you have power to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you spell out specifically. Specifically in a regulation is. because it, it can change over time, not like yeah. a $10 building permit right. because it was. This, is a, this is a non criminal disposition. So right. it's already covered under a town bylaw. And no, the lines are already established. No, no, they aren't. Be actually, hold on. There is a. I just read the bylaw last night. There, there is in the current bylaw no default fine. Number two, there is a table of fines in, as part of that bylaw that needs to be amended if you're going to do that, and that's irrespective of non-criminal disposition versus criminal action right. or, or indictment. Um, no, that's that was just the name of the. Yeah. So the, the method of enforcement is a whole other question we can discuss. And I mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a good question as to whether the method of enforcement, and in fact, I suspect that the method of enforcement needs to be in the bylaw, mm -hmm. whether so, it's non-criminal, go to court to appeal, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a schedule of fines for the town. That we could enforce. Right. And in fact, when the new bylaws go through in May, there will in fact be a default fine. That is to say, we will have a fine. Anything by the new bylaws, any violation that doesn't have a fine express, expressly mentioned somewhere is $100. Okay. And today, there's nothing. I have to read that one. I don't think I'm done. So that has to change first. Or no. does it? it could all be done simultaneously yeah. because okay. it, it could all be done as, as a group of it's unclear if it would be a what single it, warrant article or a group of you know two warrant yeah. i don't know i'm going to hand wave that for now well, well as the, we thing, get closer the thing to is, is what happens if one passes and one and <clears throat> one doesn't that's that you know what if you don't get <laughs> well if the bylaw doesn't pass and so if there were two warrant articles, if there's only one warrant article, the warrant article passes or fails. Right. And if it doesn't fail, if it fails, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. If there were two warrant articles and the one to pass the bylaw changed and the one to, to amend the fine table did not, then we default to the $100 because that's mm -hmm. the structure. Mm -hmm. If the one to pass the bylaw fails, the motion to change the fine table would be to take no action. Mm -hmm. That's how you solve that. So okay. there are paths around each of it. You just have to be willing to be to think on your feet based on what's gone on. Mm -hmm. Prepared for any situation. I wish that were true, but man, weird things happen in town meeting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget town meeting, November 17th, 6 p.m. At, at Naquok, not at Glenwood. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to ask Joe to put the sign up at Glenwood. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <on this extreme. laughs> That's a good one. It's all us common folks. Just show up. Yep. I've been going here for 20 years. <laughs> oh, believe me, every time it changes for any reason, people still go to Glenwood. Yeah. When we had it at the high school, people were still showing up at Glenwood. <laughs> Anyway, why like why isn't it available? Okay. Just curious. Because Glenn was not available. Why? They had Contract. something else oh. scheduled. Oh. I, I want to go back to uh, parking lot town meetings. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. It was fun, <laughs> and some people loved it, and some people hated it. And well, in truth, 
I as love long that. as there so weren't too many <laughs> so that you're so far away that your clickers don't work anymore. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Uh, with that. I was, we were pretty far and our clicker worked. Oh, yeah. No, no. Until you got to really far out there, especially the auxiliary way off yeah, to the sides, yeah. those didn't work so well. But all the way right? back, especially center, no problems. However, um, like so, yeah. Yeah. It's good. I like this. We should have had a big screen projecting things. But, mm -hmm. oh. All right. Anyway, popcorn free, free popcorn. So, with the bylaw regulations, yes, one, one thought I had just to maybe once we get to this point to help facilitate actually like reviewing it and all of us providing whatever comments we want. One thing I've done at work where I'm working on, say, a document with multiple people, and we probably we can check with Tamika, we could probably do this through the SharePoint, I'm guessing. Because that's what I use at work to do this is I'll put up on my my SharePoint or my OneDrive. And I'll give my other coworkers access. Mm -hmm. We can all get into it at the same time, but we can track changes to it. See, I I don't know if that will work unless you have a Microsoft account. And it also teeters on OML. Yeah, uh, that's point. yeah, good that's point. I've gotten into some iffy areas. So. Okay. We, we I love start, it. I as, wish it would work. Yeah, it, it would be easier in the long run, but you'd make a good point yeah. is that we probably each have to review it individually. If and we then were we'll just to, providing we'll have to comments. go over it. Yeah. Would be one thing, but editing a document is. Yeah. What are you paying for your Microsoft uh, account? I think you can. Well, mine is I, mine is cost to be twenty three dollars a month. Oh, mine's a whole bunch much. of mine is, there's a whole bunch of other stuff oh, involved. Yeah. You can get a free Microsoft account. Yeah, you can get a free Microsoft yeah. account. And your yeah. are probably paid. Yeah, for my it. account yeah. is <laughs> the cost for my account isn't the account. My you account is swindle. Well, what, yeah. my account gives me beta copies of all this. Latest software. Yeah, that's, that's well, that's it, why it's so expensive. If you were to go back just to, to just make an release. account and get a, get a an Outlook email is free, but then once you have the software, then you know that, that's when it starts to. Yeah. I don't think this is going to be bad to write. I really no, don't. I don't think so either. We'll see. I, I'm not saying I don't, you're wrong. I don't. I think, I think the other another question that we need to figure out is what our complete bylaw review process is. Mm -hmm. So there's us. And we do our thing, but there will need to be a review by the select board. Okay. And but they love us. <laughs> and they've been asking for this for reasons I don't fully understand because I don't know if they get what they get by the bylaw, but let's ignore that for a moment. Um, <laughs> but there will also, we will have to have at least one, what I love to call public information session. Mm -hmm. It's not a hearing, mm -hmm. it's just a Here's what it's about, and to get feedback from people. I there have uh, the it has been mixed results on getting people to show up for those, whether it's a hearing or just an information session. Yep. Um, everybody who's done these knows this. Yep. But we have to do our best to put it up front as much as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, something on the website, maybe an announcement or two. We can talk about all that again as we get closer. Mm -hmm. But there there will be a strategy that we're going to have to figure out to get the word out so everybody knows. Letters to the builders. Mm. It's not that I want to isolate the builders, but yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure I want to send a letter to every resident in town. Yeah. Well, it is more no, of education not... to have like multiple reaches and you got to understand your audience and the builders are definitely one of our audiences. Yeah. So that does- Well, even if you get a couple of them behind you to push it. Right. If they explain, if they understand yeah. it. Yeah. The other thing you might want to target is any of the engineers that have presented this, you know, yes. in the last couple of years? Yes, so that's, that's true. That's, that's true. worthwhile. Get those guys, you know. Yeah. Just while we're keep, drafting, keep them day. up to speed because they're the ones that are going to be doing. They yes. do the legwork, so right. mm -hmm. so they got to know the mm -hmm. bylaws and the regs. Yep. You know? So as we move forward, okay. let's think about how we want to do public outreach. That's and, and to you your point, team. who all the different consumers mm -hmm. yeah. are going to be for this well stakeholders yes stakeholders, stakeholders yeah. whatever you want to call it very official okay mm -hmm. and we also have bylaws and rights yeah. no thank you is there any other business before the commission no thank you so speak melissa i have motion to adjourn second any discussion I'm sending it this end. Fine. 
Crane eye. Eye. <laughs> cool eye. Crane eye. We're adjourned. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>